Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I, I know it's been a while. I've been kind of busy and I've been having problems with the new computer trying to get everything set up properly so it'll work and yeah, I've, I've been busy. But I, anyway, um, I was thinking since I just found a new um, mod pack that I was going to play on, I've been playing around with it as you can see in this world, but um, I'm going to show you guys today how to build one of these reactors using the mod Big Reactors. Um, I, I really don't know like how well they function. I'm still playing around with the design and actually trying to figure out how to use it properly. Um, I'm probably doing a lot of things odd and it never seems to want to go in this chest. I, anyway, oh uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how to build one of these today. So we'll just go over here and start one. There's something over there. I don't know what it is though. So as you can tell, I'm in creative mode, but um, so. If you're in survival mode, um, I, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the recipes because it's... Oh, hang on. Actually, I could probably find it in any eye. Oh, I don't have any eye in this. Sorry, anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you the recipes for this, but um, you guys can download this mod. It's it's called... It's not mod... It's mod pack, sorry. It's, uh, it's for technical launcher. It's called Techify. Um... I uh, just downloaded it today out of curiosity. And it comes up, it comes fairly loaded, but if we go to the big reactors, so the first thing we need is a reactor casing and reactor glass. Those, those are the first two components. And the one I did here is a seven by seven. The one we're gonna do is a nine by, we'll say, um, I think in here, nine by, uh, nine by eight. So one, two, Okay, we're almost there, guys. Just gotta fill this in all the way. Um, I believe these require like graphite and steel to make reactor casings. Um, it, it varies on t what, what mod you're using. Navy Seal Museum. Oh, hold on, I have to do this. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so I got the new computer up and running enough to make a few videos. I've been trying to record a couple in the next couple days. Probably going to be a lot of Minecraft right now. Maybe some Trouble in Terrace Town from Gary's Mod. Uh, it, de it depends if I am in the game or not. So Now, since I said we're going to do this 9 by 8 so we're going to go up. That's 1. Hang on. Uh, oh, it's two, years. 2, 3, oh, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'm going to go over to this corner and go... One, Pierce. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Chip. There we go. Right back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll go over to this one. I'll go one, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, hold on a second guys. Alright, hold on one second guys. Had to adjust some audio settings. As time progresses, new and advanced buildings become available as it enters. Someone's playing Tropico really loud. That's annoying. Hmm. Must have counted wrong or something because I didn't go up high enough, did I? Oh well. But anyway, yeah, so you're, you're going to fill in this. Th there are multiple ways of doing this. You could fill in all the sides with reactor casing, but. I enjoy the look of it with reactor glass, which is, I think, hardened glass and... One of my mom's friends lives in Fort Pierce, Florida, and that's where the Navy SEAL UDT, or the UDT Navy SEAL Museum is. Cool and some other stuff. No, what? 
I'll try to get all when I uh, if I make another video here in a minute or I what am I thinking? Um cool oh, let me make this simpler for you guys. Mohammed cool up. We'll go game of adventure. We'll go into EI and go Well actually we'll just make this easier. We'll go to this. We'll go mod. Uh do you guys? I don't. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Mohammed. Big react. Mohammed Gulab. And in order to make, I gotta find it now. Shit. All right, guys. Uh, reactor case. That's turbine. President is here. Ah, fine. We'll look it up. I can spell. What are you playing, Brody? Reactor casing. Yep, that just gives me it. That doesn't give me a recipe. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta. Fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I'll get you guys the recipes. I I think I know the the reactor glass is like it, it's hardened glass, and I think um maybe uh, some steel or some graphite, which graphite is in this mod, so you don't have to worry about like. Uh -huh. is right ah. it's not interesting. Um, yeah, this takes. This takes a long time to build, honestly. Especially if you're doing one this large. I mean, that one there still took, uh, I'd say, about an hour because I had to play around with everything. I had one a lot smaller and realized that, that considering the name is Big Reactors, they do require a large, um, well, chamber. It, it has to be a large reactor. So I'm... These are superior, like... The, the point of these would be if, if you're running, you know, this, this massive compound, like a, a military installation of some sort, and, and you require a large amount of electricity, then this is your, your, your best option. And now with this, this um, reactor can be cooled by liquid or with a turbine system, I guess. I, I haven't discovered how the turbine system works yet on cooling, but I can show you guys how to build one. That is rather simple. Maybe we'll do that in a minute. But for now, we'll just build this in. I was filling the top last because of all the stuff you have to, to build inside. We'll box ourselves in here. Almost done with the sides. So I'll fill this in and then uh, I have that one there is actually cooled with liquid ender or resonant ender. Um, I just spawned in a bucket and dumped some in there. Um, I, I think you can cool them with water. I actually have not. I don't know how that works. Um, I, I've tried hooking an aqueous accumulator like most normal people would try. Um, hold on, I gotta go. Whoop. Back to creative. Sorry about that. Um, this is creative. Still playing survival. There we go. Um, okay. So if we go back here now that we did that, now we need this. The Lorium Fuel Rod, which comes from Eulorium Ingots, which are from Eulorium Ore, which is added into the game through this mod. So now, grab your Fuel Rod, and you go, okay, I want one here, and then I want one here, and I want one here, and I want one here. And then you go, boom, 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 and you just match them up, essentially. Just gonna, just gonna do this, all the way down. Just, just follow the pattern, which I did not follow the pattern, because I am stupid. One right there. One right there. One right there. Let's right 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 go boom, 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 all the way up till they're one block from the top, like that. Then you will fill it in with glass. This is also time consuming here, how large I make it. But, your power output will be 
Yeah, I'm not using headphones today. Yeah, um, I do think we have a few things here that you'll be able to answer. Tweaking, so, um, using some some so if you guys can hear stuff in the background, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the Skype call with some of my friends. You can ignore that. Both of you guys can hear it. I need to turn it down. I couldn't honestly tell you if you can hear it in the And I was wondering if that was definitely not. For Brandon, he may be making I certainly will be there. So if you're there, I'll see you, man, and we'll have a beer. Um, well, I second question, though, is in Brandon's article, Modern Day, maybe so you guys will be their maritime edge. But if it's only a small part of the video, uh, I, I probably won't cut it. Right? But just because I don't have ways of editing the modern footage, I was curious in your opinion. What I'm looking into it, it's how just, they differ it's probably going to cost me money, so it's going to take some time to get a few of your first shows. Um, actually, As I may need to locate a new uh, location, so. Do you have any insight so. on that, Eric? Because oh I'm not sure I like this one I chose. It's oh, the front headphone jacks don't like to work, and it's just... It's a pain in the ass at times, so I'm just going to so probably go ahead and buy myself a Corsair uh, 300R carbide series with a nice window on the side panel, which this computer case I have now does have a window on the side panel, but it's cheesy. I don't like it. And now that we've got this far, get rid of all that and get some reactor cards. And then there's what we can use, that's what you have the money for, what you have the training for. Right, so that's some like resonant ender. between like, hey, why are we using some of the old crappy gear, or why are we using this? Come, come down about now, here, I guess, and place that there, place that one there, place that one there, place that one there. Oh god, I forgot about it. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this stuff, because it, it will teleport here. And items, like if you're breaking stuff, like in survival mode, if you did something with this like weird, it'll teleport the item. Now, most people would do this differently, but this is how I do it. Mitchell. Most people would try to cool it with a, a water switch, but actually, if you use I don't know, uh, Mitchell. even destabilized a redstone, freshman. I guess. I, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, supposedly destabilized redstone makes a very good reactor coolant for these things. Any, any form of liquidized metal that is available, or not metal, but um, any form of liquidized material that is available will cool this reactor. So, I, I mean, I'm using Resonant Ender. You could use Resonant... Or not Resonant. God, I'm, I'm mixing my words up. Sorry, guys. You could use liquid redstone or destabilized redstone, whatever you want to call it. And it will not affect anything. Like, it, w it will still run, but it will actually cool it, I guess, far... Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted. Um... Hold on, guys. And that's some more ender. I know you're a guy who takes your gear stuff up. seriously, so uh, you're an expert on all that stuff. So hopefully that gives his answer. Um, hey, this one is from Avi C. Hey, guys, been a long time listener and fairly recent team member, and loving every minute of fresh insight from you guys. Keep it up. After listening to a recent episode with Mike <laughs> Ritlin, it ethically tore a new ad bull into the current foreign policy. And it got me sure box on this up. top like I think we're doing the top stuff. last and this is one place. reason why I did the top last to because I have to go in there fill in all my resonant and the then I can seal the top because if you seal the top off because as you can see connecting connective textures are on with this stuff so it connects up like one seamless panel of glass as you can see which no I enjoy this look honestly yeah I don't know if you got to hear that episode now comes the semi-tricky part. So what you will need is a reactor controller. Here it is now. So you need a reactor controller. Oh, I screwed up. Actually, you, sorry, guys. You need these reactor control rods as well. Um, I, I goofed up and I forgot to mention this. So you will need to break that down. One. Place that in and then put glass back over top of it. I, I That was my bad. I, I, I spaced these. Um, actually, you could probably do it like that, too. That that might work I know I need to fly random Sorry, guys, um, I f skipped a step on you. It's been a few days since I've messed with this, so... You gotta cut me a little slack. I'm a little rusty. I gotta fix some stuff here real fast. 
Big more reactor glass. Fix the spots I goofed up on. I also need more reactor fuel rod, which means I go boom. And boom. Boom. And I just drop in boom. Control rod, boom, control rod, boom, control rod. Same thing with these other ones. But see, this is what I'm saying. You have to buy the fish that up. Break that out. Drop in a control rod. Break that out. Drop in a control rod. Break it out. Drop in a control rod. I, I don't actually know why you need to have these, but supposedly it's the only way because it measures the temperature and the heat and everything. So, okay, that's that's. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, like I said, a little bit rusty. Okay. So there's that. So we will need this reactor controller. Um, and a reactor power tap. Fucking I'm busy wood. See if I need anything else. See, the coolant port, as far as I figured out, doesn't even work. Oh, you will need an access port as well. I, I didn't mention that. Um, so, what you're going to do is break that out, put that in, and you'll notice the reactor clicked. Drop in your power tap. And over here, you can drop in this. And actually, with these things, I would recommend putting in two. Um, you can even do them like I'm doing here, one on top of the other, and set one to eject the waste. So I have an outlet. This one will be inlet, and you need... We'll, we'll grab three stacks. You will need Eulorium ingots to fuel your reactors. Yeah, we need a lot more. I, I never know how much I'm going to need, so... Hold on a second, guys. I have crap internet at times. So it's that. Grab some more Eulorium. Throw it in, throw it in, throw it in, throw it in. Ah, oh, there we are. Let's grab uh, one more stack and just try it here. Okay, there. Sorry about that, guys. It gets a little complicated. We need to go to Ender IO real fast. Grab a capacitor bank and energy uh, conduits. This is also mod compatibility with this Ender IO stuff. I just discovered it recently, actually. Um, we're just going to make one like three wide. Whatever. Fuck. Sorry. Ah. You got to shift click to make it taller because it's touching the other blocks now. And it, it all connects up, actually, as you build it. So you can build it however large you want. The larger you build it, the more materials it can hold, which is actually really cool, I thought. So then, as, we, as you notice, we have a power tap. So we'll drop the wiring down from the power tap. Connected up right there, which is the weirdest looking wire. So you see here, so now it's a status that's offline. So our fuel efficiency, or fuel reactivity, sorry, um, how irradiated the core is, let me get rid of NEI, is 100% currently. Zero millibuckets and zero RF, which is your uh, power. As you can see, it's got full fuel, and there's no heat or energy because it is not active. Uh, we make sure it auto ejects. Turn it on, and you'll see these these start moving. Your heat will rise fast, yes. That's because this is a large reactor. But your power level will steadily increase as well. And these things should stay pretty cool. Um, and as you can already see, it's, it's starting to fill this thing up rather fast. And through that, you can power things like this. Your, your destabilized redstone generators, which I believe either power... Yeah, they power themselves because they're, well, they're a generator. But anyway, yeah, you put destabilized redstone in these things and it heats it up and then this, don't even know why that's there. But this is the reactor turbine. Um, actually, I can probably show you guys how to make one of these. It's not too tricky. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm up for it. Let's grab... Turbine glass, turbine housing, and a turbine controller for now. And we're going to do it just like that one, which I don't remember the size of that one. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, six. We're going to build it out in my direction, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I counted that wrong. Sorry. One, two. Three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, four, 
four, five, six, seven. Jesus Christ. Don't want to do that. Right, let's go the other direction with it. Sorry, guys. I, I didn't realize it would connect like that. I wasn't even thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These aren't just time consuming, trust me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, that's bigger than we need, honestly. Let's cut this in half. This is only a turbine. They're not that big. Fuck, we can still cut this down. I don't even need this big. Obviously, as you can see, that other one ain't very big. Like, that's that's as big as you need it. This is still a little big, honestly. This is going to be a big turbine. The turbines don't have to be nearly as large as the reactors do. The reactors are, in my opinion, I, I enjoy building them. See, you'll need to go like four high. They don't have to be real tall because they're just housing a turbine. They're not um, controlling, you know, large amounts of nuclear fuel and the, the fission and all that stuff, creating mass amounts of power. These do. I, I don't think they create power. I actually don't know. I think they do. I think you can power them using like heat from the reactor to boil like water that's in there, and it creates the steam and um, allows the steam to. You know, it boils the steam, which then creates the force spinning the turbine, which generates electricity through the turbine and through your reactor. So you're using your reactor to help. Basically, you're using your reactor to boil water, which is what we're not doing. You, you have to set them up a certain way and wire these turbines into the reactors. Then it will work. I, I am uncertain exactly how to do that yet. I have not done it, so I don't ask. Like I know some of you will probably may ask. I am not going to guarantee this. I don't know. Okay, so now we've done this. I have to break this so I can get out, but we've done this far. So now we slap on a controller. See, nothing happens because we are missing the main part of it. So we can get rid of that. Now we need a turbine rotor bearing. Turbine rotor and turbine rotor blade. And what this is going to do, also I need, I'll get that in a minute, but anyway, we're going to break this out. We're going to drop in the bearing. I need to make sure I keep some glass. Break this out, just enough so you can get in. I, I broke too much, but whatever. And you're going to go doom, to doom, to doom, to doom, like this. All the way up until it touches like the front, like that. Then you can install your turbine rotor blades. Which, again, with these things, you can have them as long as you want them. It doesn't matter. That's what's cool about it. And you have to go out like I did to finish that. But anyway, you get the picture. Then you go to this side and go boom, boom. Oops, boom. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. I'm oh, sorry about that. I hate trying to get out of these things. And you keep going down. Go boom. Didn't get the one on the end on either side, though. That's a problem, so we're going to do that now. There we go. Now we can seal the ends back up where I broke it, trying to get in and out of that thing. It's not. It's it's frustrating at times, especially when you have to make this stuff in survival mode. It can get really frustrating. But So that, see that? Now it completed it. It clicked into place like this. That's a good start. But you will still need this, create a steam generator. For now. I, I need it because I, I can't do anything about that. But yeah. Then I need to go to. Um, I'll just look it up. Oh, I hate when I do this. Sorry about this. So you need. Um, well, you need. You require also. Um, you will notice this in a minute. I'll show you why. You require a conductive material. So. Like, you need to actually break these front ones off in order to do this. But you require a conducting a duct conduction coil, sorry. You could actually make this out of gold, or if you have, like, an excess of copper, if you wanted to, you could make it out of copper. Anything. It just needs a material that can conduct, such as what I have in there now. And this thing will not actually turn without putting this in there. Now this thing should function if I did everything properly, which I believe I did. 
So I should be able to just go boom. Yep, starting to spin now. That steam's gonna build up inside there. And as you can see, it's got 2,000 water and 2,000 steam, which I think you can pump the steam into the reactor or some shit like that. It's, it's difficult to explain. But then you need to uh, find a uh, turbine there. Oh, yes, this. Turbine fluid port, and then you need to find. I don't have anything in applied energistics. I've never actually looked. Yeah, no, they don't. Um, they probably don't have an ender IO either. Hmm. I don't think they have any form of like liquid trial. We do, okay. We need a transfer pipe, which hopefully will transfer liquids. I don't actually know. Which if I break this real fast, it'll stop spinning for a moment, and I can just boom. And I need a tank of some sort, which this does not have a build craft mod in it, so that's a bit of annoyance. I'll grab a thermal expansion tank and just plug that bitch in. Now, I don't know why this doesn't ever work for me. I, I think it's because the way I have, the, I have to hook, hook up pipes to these tanks. I, I swear. Like, that's always the problem is, is these pipes have to go a certain way, fuck, into these tanks because they only like to plug into the bottom and actually, like, input a source into it. I think. I, now, I could be doing this completely wrong. And if I am, well, that, that I am, but I've never done this, so. You guys need to help me if you know. I, I don't know, guys. Now, I could be using the wrong pipe, too, but we don't have any other form of pipe. I mean, I don't have... This, this mod pack does not have build craft. As far as I know, none of these mods that are in here carry a liquid sourcing pipe. Matter for a fact, Railcraft doesn't. Railcraft, I don't think, does. Um, thermal expansion does not either, as far as I've figured out. Um, actually, utilities does not, does it? Sorry, I know I should have looked into this before, but yeah, I didn't. Fuck it. But anyway, that is how you make a turbine and a large reactor. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.